What's good, Josh Anthony? You're watching the PA News Network right here on the Down of the PA's YouTube channel, where every single week we bring you the latest and greatest PA and healthcare related news and content. As a reminder, Adana is offering right now in this week only her pre PA consultation. So if you are a pre PA and you're interested in getting a PA school, let Adana help you. Head on over to adanathepa.com and you can schedule your appointment with her today, where she'll sit with you on the phone or video chat and help you develop a great plan for your PA school application. All right, let's get into the news. The rise of PA specifically in emergency medicine. I have some very cool and interesting statistical information to share with you in comparison to PAs and physicians in the emergency room setting. But right now, first of all, before we even get to that, I got to acknowledge somebody, you guys. We have a young woman named Tori McQuaid. She is a recent graduate from Florida Gulf Coast University, and you got to check out her story. It's crazy. Watch this. This FGCU graduate has overcome the odds. At just a day old, Tori McQuaid was left outside of a hospital in China. This weekend, she graduated from the highly coveted Physician's Assistance Program at FGCU. Wink News reporter Anika Henniger shares the PA's journey. Tori McQuaid knew she wanted to pursue medicine but not her medical degree. My father passing away influenced me kind of having an interest in medicine and wanting to go into the medical field. Um, and then a year later, my best friend uh, died of cancer. Those experiences drove her to FGCU's Master of Physician Assistant Studies program. She could work side by side with doctors in about two and a half years, but months before she started, her mom. She ended up needing heart surgery. You know, taking care of your mom after major cardiac surgery, um, it, it was rough. Rough, but it made her driven and focused. She actually got to work during her clinical rotations alongside the very same cardiac surgeon who operated on her mom. I'm just real proud of her. This is something I can see her being real passionate about. And now, Victoria Eileen McQuaid. Graduating. What was crazy for her mom? seeing her daughter's career spring forward. I was born in China and I was adopted at nine months old. She was found outside the hospital when she was a day old. And now she has some heartfelt advice for the next class or anyone considering the medical field. Do your best because when you get out of school, someone's life will be in your hands. Holding that responsibility, McQuaid and 18 other students in FGCU's first physician assistant class will soon start helping patients across the country. Congratulations to you, Tori. We know many people who watch this are going to be inspired and motivated and blessed just by your story and example. So continue to do what it is that you do. So the rise of PAs. This is some pretty cool and interesting statistical information to share with you regarding PAs in the emergency room area, specifically in comparison to physicians of emergency medicine. And of course, as always, this article and articles of anything we use in our PA News Network will be located in the prescription box. You like that? I still think it's not description, it's prescription because it's PA. Anyway, in the prescription box down below. So there are 246 PA programs in the United States, which is a dramatic increase since PAs first started in comparison to 179 medical schools. That was actually a little bit shocking because I personally thought there would be more medical schools, but apparently there ain't. There are more than 131,000 PAs in the United States in comparison to the 1.4 million physicians. Dang. Boom. 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 That's a lot of dang physicians, you guys, but that's good. That's good. That means there's a lot of growth in the PA career because, dang, you got a long way to go. We ain't even at the point four of the 1.4 million. Dang. It's a long, long way to go. But there has been a 37% increase in the number of PAs over just the past five years. Nearly 69% of PAs are women and the median age of PAs is 38 years old. Nearly 17% of PAs are practicing emergency medicine PAs, which is roughly over 12,000 PAs in comparison to the 45,000 practicing emergency physicians. Roughly 20% of staff in emergency departments today are PAs. The other 80% include emergency physicians and 14,000 emergency nurse practitioners. And of course, the mean salary for PAs practicing emergency medicine is over $123,000, while the mean salary for board certified emergency physicians is $350,000. 
So today's social media shout out of the week goes to BOOM! Samora, yeah, a lot of you guys already know who she is, but she just recently graduated from her PA program. So we want to give you lots of love and congratulations to you, Samora. And we checked out your IG. Now let me just pull this up right here. See, now she has some great IG photos right here. You guys can see this. Look at that nice little the stethoscope, the stethoscope thing in the hat. Look, that's nice. Then it's up her on stage and everything with the dude and stuff. Good her robe. That looking good. Okay. Now she's holding the degree. I like that. That look good. But it's coming up. It's coming up. Watch Hope stay with me. Then she got the nice. The white coat joint, the long joint look good. Now, this next one, this is the kicker, you guys. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Watch it, watch it. Bam! <laughs> Y'all know some more. Listen, I know you did that on purpose, alright? That was not a mistake. Oops, oops, oops. Oops, oopsies. If you missed it, watch this, watch this. Watch this, watch this. Boom! <laughs> you see this? I get it, okay? You were working on that thing for two and a half years. You was like, I'm going out on top. So anyway, congratulations to you, Samora. We, we love you. You did a great job. You should be sure to follow her, you guys. Follow her, follow her, follow her. And that's it, you guys. Please be sure to come back every single week right here on Tuesday to receive the latest and greatest PA-related news and content. I'm out!